because if you just run Clomid, you can actually get gyno from just Clomid. And that can throw off how much natural testosterone your body wants to make if it's detecting a high E2 level. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907 Coupon Keep on code Russo. ASMR spritz, intelligent elephant carbon. There's your noises. Young LA for this pimp jacket. All discounts in the pinned comment below, as well as the description. I am going to be doing a quick topic video on post cycle therapies. This will not be long and this will not be elaborate. I just wanted to again, lay this out here. If there's new viewers here, how to get off a cycle very simply quickly. Okay. So you pick your cycle, you pull your blood work before you take anything, right? Don't take any synthetic androgen, pull your blood work. So we have all the baseline numbers. Now that we have all the baseline numbers, you get all the synthetic androgens you want to run. Preferably this is your first cycle. Like one androgen or test and one oral or just test only keep it super simple and then you can look at on cycle fertility supports such as hmg or hcg hmg is a fsh mimetic and then hcg is a lh mimetic most people get away with using around you know 500 iu twice a week of hcg while on cycle this keeps their ball stimulated and full meaning when you add the synthetic androgen in your hbta is going to stop sending signals to the balls to make sperm to keep the balls a good size so we're going to come in there with a mimetic to just replace that signal that is lost while we're on cycle this makes getting off much easier but we don't want to continue creating an exogenous synthetic signal when we're trying to get off so we have approached the end of the cycle we're ready to get off right so we're going to cut the hcg or the hmg out which is then going to result into entering into pct meaning do not continue the hcg and a PCT. We don't want the synthetic signal. We want the brain to make the signal now. We then fire up clomiphene and clomiphene Novadex. We start very high with them and pyramid down. And then after we pyramid down, you could use some sort of natural testosterone booster. So then you would wait four weeks until the last clomid dosage and that would be the realistic blood work of if you came back to baseline, above baseline, below baseline, compared to your pre-cycle bloods. You don't wanna continue the HCG, HMG into the PCT. PCT needs, in my opinion, the combo of Enclomid, Clomid, and Nolvidex. Because if you just run Clomid, you can actually get gyno from just Clomid. And that can throw off how much natural testosterone your body wants to make if it's detecting a high E2 level. Don't skimp out on PCT and then don't pull blood work while Clomid is still built up in your body. So if Clomid is still built up, AKA last dose of Clomid, you wait a month and then pull bloods. Other than that, you are pulling bloods with Clomid still active, still creating an artificially high score. So that's what I wanted to get across. That's as simple as it is. This is why it makes PCT stupid. If you're gonna continue to go on, go off, go on, go off, go on, go off, stressing the fuck out of your HBTA. I always lean people towards blasting and cruising. It just seems so much better than completely stressing out your body, throwing everything out of whack, only to suppress it all back down before the clomid even gets out of your body. But if you're trying to get off, this would be the way to do it. Or if you're trying to do one cycle and get off and recover your gonads, keep your gonads, testicles, stimulated with an artificial signaler, AKA HCG, because that is lost while you're on synthetic androgens. Take that out before you PCT, PCT with Enclomid or Clomid, and then pair with Novadex to stop the high E2 sides. Wait four weeks until after your last Clomid dosing, then pull blood work to compare to your pre-cycle bloods. I hope this clears something up. I will see you guys in my next video.